What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and if this is your first time stopping by be sure to subscribe because I've got plenty more content coming up. I did want to go over the extra little thing that we're going to do before the roof rack and the tent goes on the back. So this showed up uh, today. Of course I've got a whole mess of different things that actually arrived today. I figured I'd actually put this on the truck here at the uh, condo because it's not going to be too bad. I bought a nice little set of Oxbeam LED pods. And uh, been looking at where I'm going to mount them. And I'm thinking right here. And there's also an opportunity to mount these down here. So I'm just kind of playing around with some ideas. And even the thought come up of, hmm, I could use these where the tent's going to go and have some extra lighting out on the trail. So there's even an option to put them here. So keeping that in mind, you know, I was trying to decide where do I want to put these things and what's the overall goal. I don't know how these are going to do. You know, the uh, reviews on Amazon are pretty much saying that they're awesome. And they got like four and a half stars and everybody was really, everybody had good things to say. So I'm going to give these a shot. We're going to see how they do. And uh, stick around, watch this video, and let's see how these uh, turn out. You know, hopefully they'll be pretty bright. And I think they're going to do the job. But um, this is just kind of an extra bit that I wanted to go over with you guys. Here is your uh, hood mounts. These things are pretty neat. I'm going to go over this real quick with you because uh, if you have an S10 or an oddball vehicle like myself, and you're like, mm, okay, I want to put some LED light pods on it. They don't really make anything specifically for your application, so you kind of have to find universal stuff. And uh, I came across these guys, which is pretty cool. So these things are designed to kind of clip on to the hood right here. Of course, I've got to run the set screws out. But you kind of get the idea. So you can mount that there and grab your light. Screw these guys in. And wire, of course, runs down through there. Bam. There you go. So that's kind of cool. And, um, you know, I thought about having some extra lighting on the front. Definitely can't hurt. Of course, uh, you know, we're approaching our uh, second week of waiting on the bed rack. So that means this thing should show up this Friday. Um, they're kind of running a little bit behind schedule for some reason because I was expecting to get a update on tracking and shipping information, all that good stuff, within a few days of me placing an order. Evidently it must be on back order and they haven't really said anything because I haven't gotten an email and it's been a week. Hopefully they'll show up next week and we'll be able to use the tent this weekend like we planned because it's our first little uh, camping trip with the Z and the new rooftop tent. Of course, uh, if you guys want to head on over and check out that last video and you'll get the full details of the tent and the rack and everything we're going to do. But today the main thing we want to focus on is installing LED pods onto the hood. Of course is running everything inside the cab is kind of important because you want it to look neat. So we're going to clamp these guys right here. So that means my wires are going to be nice and neat and they're going to run down through the cowl. We're going to go through the firewall and probably come out and actually uh, put this switch somewhere on the dash so it's easy to reach. But uh, I'm going to skip that part and get to the part where we mount because I don't think you guys want to watch me turn these bolts. These guys aren't that bad to install, but you've got a few things you have to do. So this bracket goes with the light. This bracket is what you buy. So the way these bolt up you guys can see it right here. So the way these work is basically you tighten those two Allen screws based on the little uh, T-nuts in there and adjust it to where you want it. Then you have these set screws that kind of clip onto the seam of your hood and then you can adjust it and mount it from there. So I did want to give you guys a look at this thing assembled off the truck and how they work. You can see there you can kind of choose where you want them to go depending on what you're running. You, know, you can go low or you can go high. So they've got a lot of adjustability. 
and um, they work pretty well. I just kind of clipped them on to see kind of what they'd look like a minute ago, and it looks like they're going to work just fine. So I did want to kind of explain how these work in case anyone is installing these and uh, give an overview of the equipment that comes with it. They actually give you all the tools you need to put it together, so kind of cool. Let's get back to the install, though. All right, guys, lot number one is pretty much on. Obviously not hooked up because we're not at that step, but there's the end result. All right, guys, we got both lights mounted. They are ready to go. We just need to wire them up, but there's the look. However, the only drawback I will say is that this lot here on this side is going to have to kind of snake across the cowl so you will kind of see the wire as compared to the other side here where it already is kind of going that general direction. So, I mean, it's no big deal. I may end up just trying to do the same thing with this side like this and make a match. Of course, I'll tuck it better, you know, but just kind of give you an idea of where I'm routing my wires on my particular truck. Everything is done, everything is wired, um, everything does work. I did just kind of flip the switch a second ago and everything came on. So I'm uh, pretty happy with the turnout, but I'm going to give you guys a little heads up if you're doing this. You know, if you're on an S10, Ranger, some smaller truck, Tacoma, even a Jeep, the kits are fine. But I'm just going to warn anyone that's putting this on like a full-size truck or a Duramax or something kind of big, the harness itself is not very long, so here's kind of what I run into as far as a few issues with the kit that someone else might have. So the wires I chose to run outside here where the drain holes are, that's about the easiest way to do it because getting through this fender is just awful being a ZR2. So uh, I ended up coming right out through here with my wires, ran it in my harness, and then of course over here to a power relay. I've got everything kind of tucked down in here for now. I don't have any of this nice stuff to hide it with, but I'm going to go grab some from the house. But it goes into a relay. I grounded it to the horn and I hooked into the positive side and I went across to the other side over here. And as you can see, it's just enough. Like, it's actually just a touch of tension on that. I mean, it's it's just right for an S10 or a Jeep or something that's kind of small. Um, but I will warn you guys, if you've got a full-size truck, that this is going to be super tight going from the left to the right side. And uh, the turnout on these is awesome. You know, they, they look great. So that was just a couple things that I saw that might give a problem to anyone that is running this on a full-size truck. That's just kind of the first thing that I happen to notice. Now with the switch, I opted to go the easy way and I know that I'm probably gonna get bashed for this but it's easy and it does work but I run the wires right out the door right here just up through the frame. You can see where my other wires go. I'm gonna you know obviously do a little better job here and hide these but the other wire is hidden pretty well. It goes up through the dash and I'm going to peel the sticky pad off and place it right here to look like a mouse pad. But anyway, uh, this thing works really well. Give her a click here, and these things are super bright. They'll literally blind you. And then combine that with the LED light bar, <laughs> and this thing is getting insane really fast. So let's flip this stuff off and uh, give you guys a look uh, at this thing with the lights out in here. New aux beams, very bright. And then you've got your uh, now light, lot more. So that is super bright. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, this thing is nuts now. It's got so much, you know. Wow. All right, let's hit the switch here. Um, whoa, it's so bright. You don't even notice me turning the lights off. That's how bright it is. So we've got two aux beam lights here on the hood and an LED light bar on top. And I don't even have these on because, quite frankly, these draw so much power compared to those. I really have got to switch these to LEDs eventually. But wow, they literally will blind you. That is insane, guys, how bright that is. I mean, even the, just the aux beams alone, I'm really impressed with that. That's really good. But when you hit that light bar, that... <laughs> 
that really does the trick there. And while we're at it, let's uh, let's get a little bit of uh, the other light here. There's your bottom light. As you can see, it just overpowers the hellas incredibly. You guys couldn't even tell I turned them on. Let me go ahead and turn them on just to show you what we're dealing with here. I mean, here's every light on my truck. That is getting serious right there. I mean, you're, you're going to be able to see this thing coming down the trail no problem right now. Okay, that green switch is what runs the light bar. Now, the first thing I installed was the Hellas, and they're mounted down here. That looks plump, just awesome. It looks factory down there. Now, the reason I didn't keep going with this is you'll find that when you take this panel off, there's hardly no room behind it. So when I started adding more things, I was like, okay, I'm going to have to just start trying to find new places to put things. So that's what I did here with this Hella switch, as well as this switch being up top. So they can easily be accessible, and you can turn them off and on fairly quickly without blinding people coming down like a back road or something. So that just kind of gives you guys an idea of... Uh, you know what to expect if you're going to buy a couple of these lots and how to wire them up. I hope that that sheds some light on anyone that had a question about using hood mounted lights. Um, again, if you like what you see, give us a follow, click right here, you know, subscribe, check out some other videos on this build. You know, if you're familiar with this truck, you'll know how far it's come. Um, and stay tuned because I've definitely got some awesome content coming. I'm working on two different videos for you guys right now. It's just been crazy. I've got so much stuff to put out, I can't even keep up with it. And, uh, you know, like I said, keep in check. Hit that notification button. Be sure and get all updates. Uh, we got the bed rack going on this week, so I will be filming that and trying to get the video up for you guys. But anyway, like I said earlier, please subscribe. Check out all my other content. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.